They had contacted me and asked me was I interested in trying something new um, and to keep juveniles per se out of the court system and I thought about it and I didn't really understand how it worked and then uh, once I was explained a little more information and I told him I was willing to try. Uh, she told me that I had an opportunity to come up with some sort of um, punishment and I thought that was an interesting approach because generally it's up to a judge and I thought it was a different approach and so it became a challenge because one I didn't want my anger of the situation to uh, basically cloud my judgment on really what should happen with the individual. We sat down at the uh, California Community Center. Uh, it was in, um, in a circle and everyone had a chance to talk. So he had a chance to explain on what he was thinking and the situation and I had a chance to explain to him what that done to me as an individual and as a business owner. So well, it helped him from an understanding of putting a face to what he had done. And it gave me an opportunity to uh, speak to an individual and kind of understand his mindset on why he did it. Uh, and sometimes you don't have that opportunity. And, and if it's in a courtroom or a different environment, uh, some things kind of sway people's uh, true feelings one way or the other versus having that one-on-one -on -one interaction and you really get pretty much what I deemed as the truth. What we did was, uh, it was about $1,800 worth of damage. Um, and so what I talked to my wife and, and I thought about doing was him putting the $1,800 in a college savings account. And, uh, well not him, his mom. Because uh, instead of paying me back, the damage was already done, it was months later. Um, and so putting the money in a college savings account and what that would do is I would become the beneficiary. So at 18, if he didn't go to college, then the money and the interest would come to me. But if he did go to college, that was me kind of reinvesting in him to give him an opportunity to uh, move on from something he did as a juvenile. It empowers the individual to have the self-awareness to say, I made a mistake, but I can right the wrong and I can make a difference and hopefully what that does is gives him opportunity to be a blessing or show somebody else grace um, and learn from it versus being institutionalized and being in a position to where he is just bottled up in a cell and has anger and it might be distributed in future crimes.